Hey guys, Dino here. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so today we're going to be doing an unboxing. I know, what else is new, right? Ugh, let's see what we got here today. I'm just going to get straight to it today, guys. I'm just going to get straight to it. I'll leave my announcements for the end of the video this time. Man, there it is, you guys. This is the uh, Lanyards Dugout. The surfing skeleton. Look at that. Woo! Man, okay, so I'm just going to admire that for one second, you guys. Six, eight, uh, yep. All right. Okay, guys, so again, this is the Lanyard's um, dugout. This is the surfing skeleton. So I had uh, seen this board um, probably sometime last year, and... Um, I really dug it, you guys. I really liked. There was a few things I really liked about it. I really liked. Uh, for one, I liked the graphic. I don't know why. I just, I just dig that graphic. It's pretty cool. Um, sorry, guys. It's all dust. It's all dusty, you guys. I should have my my rag here to clean it. Uh, so I really liked that graphic. But another thing that I really liked is the length of it. Uh, at 31 and a half inches, it's a little bit longer than a regular dinghy. And at an eight and a half inch width, it's still narrow but you have some width to it so it's not super wide but it's not super narrow and then my favorite my favorite feature you guys the 17 and a half inch wheelbase that's what sold it for me 100 percent. that's what sold it for me um, i'm super excited to skate this uh, i think that the 17 and a half inch wheelbase is going to be insane as far as stability goes um, and then, of course, we have the 130 millimeter trucks here, and then the 60 millimeter chubby hogs. Uh, so one of the things that uh, when I was kind of looking at the board that it said is that uh, this board is um, essentially it's a uh, stretched out and scaled up dinghy, giving you slightly more stable and surfy ride. So obviously, the longer wheelbase is going to have a lot to do with that. Here's a dinghy. This is now. This is obviously my uh, dinghy turbo. Um, so you know, obviously the boards aren't all going to have the plow kings on them. But as far as the shape, it's it's pretty much exactly the same. So if you take a look here, you have the tail. Right, you have a tail, and you have the upturned nose, and then you have some flares. Now the turbo is going to have more uh, dramatic flares than a regular board. So uh, you know, we're not really going to compare those those flares, but um, yeah, it still has them for to lock in your feet. So yeah, and then look at that wheelbase difference, you guys. I think this is 15, 14 and a half inches, and then uh, 17 and a half inches. So quite a difference, quite a difference. Beautiful board there, guys. Beautiful board. Uh, so yeah, so we're not going to spend a lot of time, not going to spend a lot of time talking about it right now. But um, I'm excited to skate this and uh, get you guys some close-ups, and we'll have some fun. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.
herself She finds love in all the wrong places The same situations, just different with faces Changed up her pace since her daddy left her Too bad he never told her she deserved much better Johnny boy always played the fool He broke all the rules so you would think he was cool say thanks for watching so far hope you're enjoying the video so i am going to talk about just a couple quick things about the board i'm going to talk about the stability i'm going to talk about the bushings a little bit i'm going to talk about the ride and the comfort and the rolling speed okay so as far as uh let's talk about the bushings first since we're right there um you know when i first got the board right here in this section uh, I took it out and I made zero adjustments to the bushings because it felt pretty good. But when I took it out, you know, there was one thing I noticed. I, I felt like sort of like the board was kind of tipping side to side as opposed to turning more or less. And, you know, it wasn't a bad feeling. It wasn't uncontrollable because due to the lengthened wheelbase, it was very stable. But it still felt like it was kind of tippy which did give it a very surfy feel which i enjoyed but some you know to a certain degree i do enjoy a, a different feel on a cruiser board at least so i tightened up the bushings i did one full turn in the back and a half a turn in the front and that made all the difference in the world it still had just as much maneuverability but at least for my style of riding it felt much more stable and uh, I, I enjoyed it. That definitely increased the rideability and the comfortability. Um, the board having the extra length, it's not a whole lot, but you know, let's say for instance, a dinghy is 28 inches and this is 31.4 inches. So it's about three and a half inches longer. And that does make a difference, you know, for the standing platform. And then of course this board, just like any other dinghy has some concave to it, which creates a nice pocket for your foot while pushing making it very comfortable and then the 60 millimeter chubby hogs although they're only 60 millimeters they had a very good rolling speed they were very smooth and you know they had a pretty good rolling distance i didn't have to push as often once i was able to maintain a certain speed 
Now look at this board, you guys. It's just so awesome. It's so cool. Look at that surfing skeleton with all the planets around him. So what we're going to do next is we're going to watch some skating footage. And uh, I'm going to be practicing some tricks. So there's one thing I wanted to mention to you guys. If you could take a look and watch my slides. A lot of times when I'm doing a toe side slide, pushing out while carving or anything like that, I'll end up uh, popping off the board over the top of it or quote unquote high siding. So if you guys can make any suggestions or recommendations on that, I would greatly appreciate it. There might be something I'm missing in my technique or maybe I just need more practice and to fill the board underneath me. But uh, all in all, it's a great board. I'm very happy with the purchase. And uh, one last thing, guys, we're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So don't forget to like and share the video. And uh, that way we hit 1,000 subscribers sooner and I can get that board out to one of you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Stay strong. Get out and skate or do something that makes you happy. Have a great day. Thank you. It starts with one. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this product to explain in due time. All I know. Time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on. Didn't even know. I wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept everything inside and even though I tried. Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so Things aren't the way they were before You wouldn't even recognize me anymore Not that you knew me back then But it all comes back to me in the end You kept everything inside And even though I tried, it all fell apart What it meant to me will eventually be a memory Of a time when I tried so guys i'm back all right so let's go ahead and wrap up this uh this unboxing this initial review of my uh land yachts dugout surfing skeleton uh so yeah this board was awesome you guys i mean i kind of let you know in the beginning of the video more or less what i was looking for what i was anticipating out of the board i really got that and more um the extra long wheelbase the 17 and a half inch wheelbase was super nice it really allowed me the stability that i like but also let me slide it out which you guys will hopefully see and hear in the video um this tail even though even though the board kind of gets a little bit narrower as it gets to the tail i still had a lot of control with the tail and again i'm still learning you guys but when i was um tic tacking around i felt like i had a lot of control and even to the point where i felt like i could have not just done 180s, but full 360s. Obviously, I didn't try that, uh, but that's what it felt like. You know, I want to do one thing at a time, progress slowly uh, and surely, so that way my fundamentals are sound. But yeah, that's what it felt like. I had a lot of control. Uh, it definitely felt very surfy, you guys. 
Now, I did tighten up the trucks, and, you know, a little bit of that surfiness went away, which, I, you know, I like both ways. I like the surfiness that I felt with a little bit of a looser truck, and I like the stability that I feel from a little bit of a tighter truck. So what I did is I did one full turn in the back, and I did a half a turn in the front. And, um, yeah, it feels solid, you guys. It feels very solid. Obviously, I was still able to turn it and lean it. But, um, you know, it didn't feel as, um, like before I tightened it, it kind of felt like the wheels were just, and it was, the board was just kind of tipping side to side. Uh, now that I tightened it, it feels like it's turning a little bit better. So that's just my opinion. Of course, everyone, that part is subjective, but I really liked it. You guys are, well, I loved it. Honestly, uh, this is the board that I've had my eye on since again, um, late last year i would say i probably noticed it maybe uh september but um i love i love this graphic i love the graphic and i love the board uh so if you're looking for uh, a dinghy but a little bit larger check out the dugout you guys it's got that same shape you have the upswept nose here you have the kick tail uh, you have the 60 millimeter chubby uh chubby hogs you have the uh, 130 millimeter trucks and this one came with the uh, medium bushings, the gray, which I like. Uh, I like the hard too, but the mediums are fine. Uh, the whites actually aren't that soft either, so they're not. They're all good tr uh, bushings. And uh, another thing, well, another thing is uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but and I'll show you guys a close up, or make sure I pointed out earlier in the video. But this board came with a, a wedged riser in the front, which is also nice, which helped with its uh, turnability. So all in all. 10 out of 10 you guys I love it uh, especially for what I purchased it for it but exactly fulfilled that need I wanted a board with a this exact wheelbase um, I'm still waiting on the rally cat so hopefully that one comes out soon I really I want the rally cat kimono because it's a little bit narrower than the original um, but at this point I might take both or either so uh, thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video stay safe stay strong get out and skate or do something that makes you happy have a great day guys thank you